Your guides are opening a new path just for you. And this is going to be fabulous for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Over the next three weeks, things are getting ready to change. So be ready for what's coming. Let's take a look at what's coming in your message uh, right now for you guys. So Cancer, you're going to start off the next uh, few weeks feeling exhausted. And I know you've been through a lot. I mean, I see how much you've been through. And a lot of you have been through heartbreak where you had to heal your heart. You were divided from the people that you love, divided from the job that you wanted, the career, the business, the project that you wanted to work on, the lifestyle that you wanted. There was something that came and pulled you apart and it pulled you apart for a reason. That reason was so that you could open up, you could heal yourself and open up and you are definitely doing that. You are healing yourself and that's what you've been in this phase for quite some time. They're saying for some of you, it has been three to four years. It has been eight years for others of you. It can be any length of time that you've been doing this. And it was meant for you to go through this experience so that you could start in this new path, a path that is divinely created just for you, filled with abundance. Abundance means whatever you want is going to come in. Whatever you need is going to show up. And it's not magic. This is you actually connecting your mind, your body, and your soul to the divine, to the universe. All of the guides, all of your angels are saying, Cancer, it is your time. We're going to show you the path. Now it's up to you to take that path and where you go with it is going to depend on you. But following this path with this hermit card, and that's what you've been doing. You've been withdrawing. You've been holding back, not giving as much, some of you not caring as much, but more about your own self. Your self-love, your self-involvement, evolving into this new ascended level, that's what you've been working on. So it feels, it feels like you were stuck. If it feels like you didn't know what direction you were going over the next three to four weeks, you will be shown. And your guides are going to make sure it's in a way that you understand. Now, I want you to set your intentions. I didn't start off this reading this way, but make sure you are setting your intentions to get what it is you want and ask for them to show it with clarity in a way that you understand. That is very important because they don't speak the same language we do. Synchronicities of birds floating around doesn't necessarily mean anything, but yet we know it means something. So ask them to show you in a way where you understand. Okay, if you need help with that, put a comment in the box below. If I get enough people, we may do something in the membership where we can do it together and actually make a difference. Whatever's coming in, and I'm going to pull detail, um, uh, get really detailed, but whatever is coming in for you guys, I just see that you have been through so much, and this is way, way, way overdue, and they're saying it's, you're, you may have felt, this came in the reverse, so you may have felt like you couldn't move forward. All right, this is moving past the murky waters, water representing our emotion, our emotional attachments, the separation from the people that you love. The five of swords is prior to this, and that's what I mean. That's what I'm seeing over here. That's what you've been through. Now, for those of you who are new, I hear it on this side, and I see the visions on the left. So if it's the past, it's down. You'll see my eyes go down. This is the present. This is the future. This is not happening. It is in the ethers. And that's what I'm seeing in the ethers coming down to you. That's how I know it's divinely guided. All right. So this is you feeling like you've been stuck. Like I can't get out of this. I just, I know it's coming, but it's not happening yet. Healing your heart is a big deal. And that is a challenge for most of us to do. The amount of time to heal is up to us whenever we're ready to let go. And that is what you are getting ready to do if you didn't already do it. If you've already done it, you are one step ahead toward what is coming in for you. Now we have the page of swords. This is air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and it definitely represents a Gemini if you're involved with one. 
And that may be what some of you have been involved with, a Gemini, an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius, even a Virgo. And some of you, it's a Taurus and a Capricorn as well. Whatever you or whoever you've been dealing with, the change is coming in. So around the beginning of January, and that would be toward the second part of this three to four week time span, that's when you're going to really get all the pieces are going to finally come together. You're making big, big changes. You're rebalancing yourself. You're rebalancing your mind and your body and aligning it with your authentic self. And that's what we need to do to hear the guidance, to understand the synchronicities. You may have been balancing your money, juggling back and forth. And a lot of us have trying to figure out how to keep up with all of the changes that are going on. And changes have happened our entire life. This isn't nothing new, but this time it is definitely big. It's a little bit bigger than what we're used to. So it's acclimating to the change. And boy, you got something to celebrate. And that's what I mean. They are opening up a new path for you. So let's take a look at whoever or whatever you've been dealing with and see um, how you're going to move past this. All right. Oop, there's one. Give me one second as we pull some cards. We have the nine of wands. See, you've been dealing with somebody. I feel they didn't have the courage. They didn't have the courage to make the changes, especially if this is a family member around you. For some of you, it is an adult child that may be living with you and they didn't have the courage to take the step out and you didn't have the courage to kick them out. A little guilt, a little remorse, maybe feeling like I can't do that but yet they're holding you back. So I feel you're gonna find a compromise, a balance in how you deal with the situation. You will be shown exactly how to do it. You've got the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is the communication. So somebody's been hiding communication from you. They may have even been hiding emails from you, especially if this is a romantic partner, okay? I feel some of you have been dealing with a little bit of unscrupulous, individuals around you that have been holding you back recessing you because if you leave and do what you want to do then what are they going to do <laughs> what are they going to do without you because you do everything for them so it isn't about that right now it's about you living the life and creating the life that you actually want all right now whoever this person is you are going to hear from them yeah there is somebody who caused the five of swords a one-upmanship stabbing you in the back is what i feel actually happened okay now it's not as bad as the ten of swords but let me tell you this is a horrible feeling when we're fighting and arguing with the people that we love but yet when we take a step back we understand and you can look at this situation and see the job, the project, the person, there was fear on their end because they couldn't see their own path. So they created this argument. They created this stagnant, um, almost hostile. I hear the word hostile for some of you energy that was keeping you repressed from the ace of cups. That's the abundance card. Take a step back and really look at this person. Okay. I feel that they are growing they're growing and if they're not they will be growing as you go forward they are not going to be in a bad way they're going to find their way out of this mess absolutely no doubt about it cancer this is a really big time for you to make something uh a shift a shift some of you are going to get communication when it comes to a property i feel you you're the house or the home the location that you wanted to move is finally going to break free there may have been a blockage on that end and they were afraid to rent the house out that was the one you knew it was coming etc whatever your circumstances is the new location is getting ready to open up now take a look at that location if you aren't near it look at it online take a look put yourself in it okay open it up on the google settings and see yourself in that location and make sure you resonate with the ground that it's on okay and let's go ahead and pull some more cards you know again whoever you've been dealing with they do it underhandedly i feel um 
they're quiet. I hear they're quiet about the way they do it. So it's nonchalant. It's like no big deal, but it is a big deal when it holds you back from whatever it is that you want to do. Set your intentions. Okay, you've got the three of wands. This is you making the plan and executing the plan. You're planning, preparing to relocate. And that's what I said. I see some of you are relocating. Now, it may be in a completely different area, completely different country for some of you. You have a lot of options when you really look through this whole situation. You have a lot of options and opportunity, but whatever it is, it's going to bring back excitement of life. You have this beautiful Knight of Wands energy. Now, this may be a person coming in. Remember, abundance is whatever you want when you want it, when you need it. Period. Love is always part of cancer because it's built into you. That's part of your mechanism. That's part of who you are here on earth. This Knight of Wands is indicating a, a lighting your fire again, wanting to feel adventure and excitement, passion, sensuality. Some of you are going to move into a new relationship or revise the relationship you're in, especially if you're moving with this person. Others of you, I feel where you're going, you're going to fall in love with this new environment. Love and excitement are at the end of this three to four week period of time. That is how you're going to start the year off. Now, this is for those of you who've really been working hard on making changes in your life, on healing yourself, on getting yourself in a line and attuned to the higher realm. Okay, the divine is the highest power ever. That is our universal light source that opens our heart, that opens up these new paths. And that's exactly what's coming in for you. So let's pull one more card for you guys. And... Okay, I use my intuition in all aspects of life. And that's exactly what you're doing because your intuition is going to break you free from the indecisiveness that you may have been looking at. And when I say indecisiveness, it's like, do I walk away or do I stay? If walking away is going to hurt them, I get where you're feeling it here. Make sure you can do it in a way that doesn't really hurt them and it's not intentional and make it clear to them that it isn't about them, it's about you. And I feel for most of you, this situation isn't going to be as bad as what you think it is. Once you see this new opening, this new path, you aren't even going to look twice at anything you've been through. So you guys, I'd love to hear your comments. Let me know what new path is it you've been asking for in the comments below. Much love.